When they come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles. Disguised as a gargoyle, the evil Xanatos swoops into attack. But mighty Goliath breaks free. Lexington fires. And heroic Brooklyn charges into battle on the Ripon Rider cycle. Get him! Xanatos is stunned, and Goliath flies in to unmask him. And you, Xanatos! When gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive. Gargoyles eat so separately. Hey guys, the Lord here, back in with another edition of Throwback Thursdays, as promised earlier in my Mythic Legions All Stars 4.0 Forest Troll 2.0 video or review, whichever you want to call it. I said I was going to do a Throwback Thursday anyway, and here we are. I believe we're on number 18. We're almost up to 20 of these suckers. Either way. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kenner Gargoyles Quick Strike Goliath, one of the first Gargoyles figures I ever got. Got him along with Demona for uh, Christmas one year. And I gotta tell ya, this figure's cool, and it's not at the same time. We're going to get into that. But this is the only other standard Goliath next to the Stone Armor one, which I do have out for comparison. We'll do that shortly. But as far as accessories go, he comes with a um, Indiana Jones trap axe. You know how the axe blades used to swing from the floor or the ceiling like this? Woo! Comes with something like that. And it will spin around, but it's not like his gimmick really entails this. So I'm not sure why this does this. Would have made more sense to just give him an axe. I would think. But uh, he can hold that in his right hand. Pretty securely. But uh, taking that out. Taking a look at him. This is the pissed off version of Goliath. With very minimal paint. Like his belt doesn't look painted. Or am I crazy? I can't tell. I don't believe it is. I don't think his loincloth is painted. It looks like it's all one solid color. So that kind of sucks. Um, it would have been nice if they painted that area. But it doesn't look like they did. His face is painted pretty nice. But his eyes are the wrong color. They're red instead of white. So that's interesting. And he seems a bit bluer than normal. It's a very blue looking Goliath. I'm blue, Abadi, Abadi. No, we don't talk about that. Um, either way, he's a very blue Goliath. He has some purple in him. It's very faint, but he does have some purple kind of dry brushing here and there. But yeah, he's very oddly colored, which is odd because this is a uh, like the only tried and true standard Goliath figure that they did. I will say one thing they did do. He has this nice stone texture on his legs, arms, and a little bit on the torso, but it's mostly on his legs, arms, not so much his wings or his tail, but, again, mostly the legs and arms. And it makes him feel like he's stone, which is cool, because that makes sense for this line. He's got peg holes on his feet, which is something I don't think all of them have. But, yeah, they're very oddly colored. Cool sculpt. I dig the sculpt. I think the sculpt is cool for like a battle ready Goliath that's gonna tear you a new asshole. This is really cool, but the coloring's way off and he's missing some paint here, so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, his wings do actually plug in fairly securely, unlike the stone armor one I have. Probably because this one I got carded and the stone armor one was loose. Shout out to T-Biz for the hookup on that one again. But uh, the wings on the back flap when you move his arms, but there's a reason for that. It's got like almost butterfly joints. Uh, but as far as the articulation on this guy goes, his arms go up and down, his head will look side to side. His tail is static, does not rotate or anything. 
This leg kind of moves, but not really. Yeah, it's it's not going to move more than that. It just kind of wiggles around. And uh, that, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> not a whole lot of articulation on this guy. But he does have a cool action feature, which unfortunately is why he doesn't have very much articulation at all. You can hinge him forward like this. Rotate his arms this way. Collapse them like this. And, uh, yeah, he's impossible to stand this way. So this kind of blows. But uh, you can also have his arms bent in a little bit. To look like he's kind of perched on a rooftop. But, again, he, do he doesn't really stand. If his legs were back like this much, he would be able to stand. But as it stands, he's not standing. But what you do is you hold him down by his feet. You push down on the tail. And he springs into action. I'll do that again. Lock this down. Lock these down. We'll rotate his arms a bit so he uh, looks like he's going to come at you. Push down on the tail. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, I dig the gimmick. That's the saving grace. The gimmick is cool. It's very show accurate as far as, you know, the get down. You collapse the arms in or the wings in. It's a lot easier to do that. Get them down. And then, you know, daylight dies and night falls. And then they come alive at night to kick the shit out of Xanatos for being a freaking asshole. So, there you go. There's Quick Strike Goliath in a nutshell. Cool figure. A little bit lacking in paint, but it's only in certain areas. A little bit inaccurate in paint, but still a cool figure. I dig this figure. I love all my Kenner Gargoyles, as cheesy, ridiculous, and kind of goofy and dated as they are. I still love these figures. I've been collecting them since I was in high school, so I have a lot of attachment to them. I love the series, so it just makes sense that I'm going to like most things that are Gargoyles related. Should probably pick up that uh, Gargoyles board game. It comes with little figures. Be nice to look at that, wouldn't it? That's a thought. But at any rate, let's take a look. At some comparisons. First up, here is the Quick Strike Goliath, next to the only other kind of tried and true standard Goliath we got in this Kenner Gargoyles line. We got the Stone Armor Goliath. Again, shout out to Tebas for that one. And as you can see, the Stone Armor one, while it is not as cool looking as far as the pose goes it is a lot more show accurate as far as the color palette he's got the kind of lavender skin tone with the uh now well, he's got the brown loincloth underneath the stone armor plate that's actually uh let's actually just take all these off i didn't think of that before it's all overlords bit of a numb nuts today there you go as you can see, this one's a little bit more uh, show accurate as far as the colors go. Uh, he's got the brown loincloth with the uh, belt that's painted pretty accurate. The only thing that's not accurate about this guy is his bicep bracelet. Not sure why they threw that on there. I guess just for shits and giggles. I don't know. but Yeah, uh, this really makes the Quick Strike one look blue, doesn't it? He looks really blue, man. It's, it's pretty funny. And last, but certainly not least we have our two regulars the mythic legions brother mandibulus gotta get used to saying that again huh and the okay 11 spawn so with that being said time to wrap things up some final thoughts overall and while i must say this is one of the more dynamic goliaths we've seen in this kenner gargoyles line i don't think it's the best it has to offer i have plenty of other goliath variants that are a little bit cooler than this one and while this one is cool, it falls short of being as cool as the Battle Armor Goliath, which is probably 
one of the better ones along with the power wing goliath which may potentially be the best one even though it's got some crazy chain mail and an armored arm we'll talk about that at some point but if you are like me and are a fan of gargoyles and are a completionist of this line then this is a definite pickup for you if not well then maybe pass it by and get the stone armor one because that is again the most standard looking of all the goliath figures kenner gave us in this line that said this is actually going to conclude my Gargoyles editions of Throwback Thursdays for the year. This is the last one we're going to be taking a look at. There are a couple other things I want to do for this segment on the channel before the year is over. I have a couple more planned into the symbiotes I'm going to take a look at because of all the hype surrounding Venom 2. And Medieval Spawn because there's eventually supposed to be a Medieval Spawn Kickstarter figure in there. So figured we might as well do that to wrap up the month of November. And then in December, I got something special planned. Stay tuned for that. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's edition of Throwback Thursdays. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you are so inclined, please hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload more content to the channel got plenty more coming your way not just throwback thursdays but other stuff as well got my pulse con exclusives in Woo and then we actually have a mythic legion's horse to look at because can't go wrong with a pony but as always we got to show that algorithm who's boss right and if you haven't already hit me up on instagram at overlord productions but again as always don't forget to keep the comments civil because the world sucks enough as it is and until next time I will catch you guys later.